got spin on it and it just kind of creates a different angle to, to what you normally see. I played it with a, a lot of bottom spin and right hand side and, and kind of after about um, it gets halfway at the table and the side and, and spin really uh, reacts um, against the cloth and that's why you get a kind of banana and it kind of arcs around and as soon as it hits the cushion uh, all the side comes off and it, and it flies back down the table. I've tried to calm my game down a little bit so, so I'm not as naughty but obviously you've got to be naughty sometimes. And the word naughty has been all over Judd's Twitter feed this week, even during games. I normally just tweet to take my mind off the game and just help myself relax and the last thing you really want to be thinking about is if you miss an easy ball before you come out you just want to completely take your mind off it and Twitter kind of helps and it's just nice to see all the support I'm, I'm getting and kind of interact with the fans. Describing himself as part-time snooker player and full-time international playboy raised a few eyebrows, but despite the banter, Judd's win over Neil Robertson proved a growing maturity, certainly at the table. I've got kind of used to the pressure and that out there and I think that's helped me a lot. Um, I can stay relaxed, um, but my actual performance on the table hasn't been great. Um, but I think I've got a lot of improving to do still. My aim for now is just to win more big titles, but obviously um, the lifestyle is a part of what comes with the game. And um, the game's quite popular, so that, that the prize money is good at the moment. So um, I'm just going to enjoy myself off the table. Trump narrowly missed out on the world title earlier this year, but today's UK crown would be ample consolation. And we're back because four more frames to be played this afternoon in this year's final. And uh, interestingly, we're talking about Judd Trump tweeting. He's already tweeted in the interval and he said, changing into my naughty head for the next four frames. Got no idea what we're in for in that case, but I do know that it's a strictly naughty duo in the commentary box now. Willie Thorne, Dennis Taylor. Thank you, frame five, Judd Trump to break. Thank you, Hazel. Well, we'll try and do a little naughty commentary, but meanwhile, Judd breaks off, and uh, I don't think he's going to change his style of play, but he did. Uh, a couple of uh, reckless shots, I suppose. That's why he's 3 1 down, but Mark Allen winning those three frames. And with a break of 141, looks to be in scintillating form. Can he keep it going? This was the plant that uh, it, it looked makeable on that picture, but that was so tough. Uh, I think Stephen Hendry, the seven times world oh, champion. Miss. Well, <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> I think that that one. <laughs> <Mark Allen Paul. laughs> so, uh, that's great to see. Good spirits and. Uh, <laughs> he was so naughty that he was trying to uh, <laughs> play the snooker behind the green before in a red. Yeah, while that was all going on, talking about the reckless shot, I think Stephen Hendry said when he tried that plant, uh, that was nuts. <laughs> Goodness me, that's pot calling the kettle black. He did go for some <laughs> shots when he was younger. Problem, of course, is the is the, the in off here. I mean, he's got to hit it very very fine, and then he has to miss the kiss on the black. So there's a target of about 12 inches from the black to the pocket. So that's the where he wants to hit the cushion if he can. Oh, he's played that pretty well. It's great to see uh, two young guns out there and having a bit of fun with each other because it's a pretty serious game these days.
another cracking safety there. Yeah, that's nice to see. It really is. <laughs> and the referees have a well, the crowd. Every look at that lovely picture there. Everybody's laughing. I think I lip read there. I think he said I was trying to sneak him behind the green, which is what we thought in commentary. Well, both these players just proving that they're pretty good tactical players. OK, he's left a red out this time, but got a good cue ball. And uh, no guarantee to get on a colour here, but can he find a gap with a cue ball? Well, he found a cannon onto the other red, which has kept everything reasonably safe. He might be able to cut this one back into the corner pocket. Yes, I know he played the cannon there, Dennis, as, as, uh, but in the previous frame, this is the shot here. He tends to want to stun down on that kind of shot. In the previous frame, remember he played the brown and he, and he played exactly that shot. He played to stun it in rather than roll it in. I don't know if he's reluctant to roll balls in at length. <laughs> Little unlucky there with a kiss. What? Any other kiss apart from that, he was bound to be on the brown or bought colour. Mark Allen won. I'm not sure if he can come off two cushions here and into the bunch. The black may be in the way of that. Well, he's going to have to go close to the black to uh, escape from this. Foul. And a miss. That angle, I don't think, was set. there. Mark just weighing things up before he has it replaced. Yeah. Arian Williams just getting the white in the right spot, and then he'll uh, probably have a look at the monitor to, make, monitor to make sure he gets the black back in the right spot. Left or right? Uh, it's important that he gets this right. There's Jan Verhaas, the other referee there, just uh, Oops, yeah. guiding him. Okay. Let's have a look. That's where they were. Let's have a look now. Just slightly, which makes it even more difficult because that uh, the natural angle, I think, is, is hitting the black. See, I thought that was the uh, angle he would need, and uh, with his first attempt, he went straight into the black. And if he goes the other side of the black, of course, he'd have to rest right on that bottom red, otherwise he'll leave the red in the opposite corner quite easily. He didn't like this. It's not there, oh, the angle. Yes. He couldn't have got any closer to the, the black. Mark Allen four. And he'd have to put a little touch aside on it, and, and that's very difficult to judge. I think he'll have to find an alternative now, as Dennis explained, because it, however close he gets to the black, he's still coming inside those reds or outside of them as we look. Now, if he goes the other side of the black, as I was suggesting, he'll be leaving the red on the left-hand pocket, so this is, this is a tough shot now. Can he get enough side on it, then, just before the middle pocket and try and get in the, the rows around the pink? I think it's because the cue ball's so close to the cushion, uh, well, he, he, the side would disappear, but he's having to swerve it to try and do that. Just playing with side. He's hit the pink this time. Oh, I miss. We now know that, that shot's on, though, Dennis, ball. don't we? So he can play that shot a fraction slower. Give the side more time to take. And I think he'll have another go at that shot now, because I think that that's probably as good as anything. Just checking again. A little bit. Yep. 
looks pretty good. But the only way he can get the pace on that shot that Willie was saying is uh, is to put the butt of the cue in the air and, and sort of swerve it with side. Probably move that one in a bit, do you? Yes, I think the slower the better with this, you know, try and play it dead weight. At least the side doesn't have every chance of taking this. The pace he played it last time, the side didn't quite have enough time to take, hence to hit the pink. He doesn't know any. Mark's just suggesting is the pink's a little yeah. bit nearer the pack, yeah. which, in fairness, I suppose, wherever the pink is, it was near its spot. The pink. That's where, look. Look. That's where they were. Look. Let's have a look now. Yeah, just that red, probably, yeah. just a little bit near. You see, the player's not allowed to touch the ball, otherwise a foul. But he did no, something no. yesterday, Mark Allen, in his, uh, his semi-final match, and uh, it was to his disadvantage. He had the ball, he was asking the referee to move it a bit because he thought he couldn't pot the ball, but he, he could pot it, but he was, uh, you know, trying to well, make the referee put him at a disadvantage. So, you know, he was very fair. So this is where they were again. And now we'll show you where they are now, the and that's pretty good. I think they should be happy with that. It's okay. Thank you. Nice job. Now, the slower the better, as I suggested. Obviously, you've got to make the pace so you can hit them. That's better. Now, the side will take here. Has he hit the pink this time? Well, he's got the jaw. Wow. Right, if he had the the jaw, that's the kind of pace he needed to play. It. He had the four. pace right now, but obviously he swerved it too much, and it <laughs> hit the jaw. Yeah, the fact that he is swerving it makes it more difficult to judge the angle as if you were just playing it, playing ball with side, but because he's close to the cushion, he can't do that. Has that got enough pace? Has that got enough pace? No. Foul. Oh, the miss. Mark Allen. Proving pretty costly, the snooker. It's one of those situations there, Dennis. You don't mind giving 40-odd points away. What you don't want to do is stick a red. Always you can lose the game, then it doesn't matter so much at this early stage of the frame being 40 points behind if you've still got enough on to win. That's a better pace. Is it going to reach this time? He doesn't want, yeah, well played. Yes, it was worth persevering once you found out the line was on. The first shot he played, Dennis explained the reason it wasn't on because of the black. He found a way of making it on there, and it uh, was worth giving those few points away just to get it safe. <coughs> Balls have gone a little bit awkward. And the last two frames, the one before the mid-session interval, lasted nearly 26 minutes. The other frames were one in virtually one visit. And the green's going to come to his rescue, I think. So he may be able to take it into the top pocket. Mark having a look. He can't pot it in the middle pocket. What's your opinion, Dennis, on the person who plays the better safety in this match. Do you think that could be the key? I think at this moment in time, Mark Allen is playing the better safety. Well, there's the safety success. Really, he's well ahead, is Mark Allen. And Mark can have a go at this. The judge's not going to change his game. He just... Uh, born out attacking player it's the way he loves to play the game but One. he's playing very well at the moment mark and i suppose he's getting a little bit of the run of the ball you know in the previous frames when he missed he was leaving them safe which always seems to be the case when you're playing well, you get the run. Like that last shot, Judd, the red.